la 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 all right folks for some fa la 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 day sides we're gonna go ahead and today we're gonna make some make ahead mashed potatoes for thanksgiving christmas what have you you can use it whatever time of the year i love potatoes in my heart some are friends are wedged in there too but potatoes are definitely in my top three most important things in my life, or at least in my eating life. So today we're going to make some delicious mashed potatoes and I cannot wait because they're kind of going to be from scratch and I'm excited here. So let's get this going. Before you get all the ingredients in those mashed potatoes and transfer them to the crock pot, you want to make sure that you've softened your butter so my little Picassos get cubismed. Or get into your cubism you pick which one sounds cooler and imagine that's the one I said I'm just, you can help me I can't get this thing to peel so you see my sharp sharp little friend he's gonna help me in here Ugh. trust me I'm not sour about it at all kind of fun. Guys, now the recipe calls for yeah, for a half a cup of sour cream. Now I myself, since this is Thanksgiving and I love mashed potatoes, I'm kind of bulking up this recipe a little bit for myself and doing about 1.5 of everything. So it's plus a half of everything. Uh, which is approximately 75% of this container. And I don't feel like measuring, so it's going to be about 75% of this container. So, shake gently. Let it just fall in there. Until when you shake it down to the bottom, it looks like about 70... Hmm, about 75% is gone. Life is about guesstimating and, and rolling with the punches and life's not precise. Work with it. Don't forget to get some uh, parsley. It's uh, all shook up. Parsley. Presley. Anyone? Wrong demographic? I don't know. This is a cooking show. I don't know how old some of you folks are. I might have a baby boomer or two in here. You never know. Alright guys, thanks to you guys being kind enough to let me make these films and occasionally you guys actually watch them, I feel confident enough to start kind of tweaking recipes a little bit, so thanks for that. So the recipe calls for cream cheese, but I felt like kicking this up a notch, so um, got some Philadelphia chive and onion cream cheese to kind of add a little extra flavor to these mashed potatoes. If there's some flavoring you'd like to kind of add to kind of help out your mashed potatoes but still stays kind of within the bounds, have fun with it a little bit. Experiment. Because if you can't experiment in cooking, I don't know where you can. And once you get all your ingredients measured out and put into a bowl, in my case, I don't like adding more dishes to clean, so I just put it all in the potatoes in the pot I use to boil them. So you just go ahead and uh, stir that up. Because, you know, we got to get some guns for the show, you know? So don't forget to stir it up real good. Oh, it looks so tasty. Look at those. If you don't want to eat this through the screen, I don't know what's wrong with you. Once you've done all your stirring, then you got to get this stuff into the crock pot. And... Whoa, whoa. Okay, now you might want someone to help. But... It's pretty, pretty much like that, and all over your hands. So now, um, you know, free sampling. Just saying. Yummy. All right. After you got everything into your crock pot and it looks so delicious, you need to put a lid on it, and either you can put it in your fridge for later, so you can just heat it up tomorrow morning for your festivities, or you can go ahead and put it on low for two to three hours, and then enjoy those delicious potatoes all day long. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys. Respect yourselves and I'm out.